out here trying to protect my fish. We had a net on here, but we decided to take it off because it made it uh, harder to keep the pond clean and it just didn't look as nice. It looks nicer without the net. So what we did was we installed a ring camera over here with the floodlights to hopefully scare off anything that motion picked up and then the lights flicker on and I'm hoping that that would scare away whatever you know is out here. But I noticed my fish have been acting kind of weird the last few days. So I figured that might not be doing the trick. So then we added this yard enforcer, which uh, sprays on motion. So if it senses anything, it sprays water, which last night worked really well. Or this morning, I would say it was at five in the morning. It sprayed, it sprayed when it sensed a uh, raccoon. So it saved my fish. And when, this morning when I came out, all my fish were out as usual. I noticed the last few days they had been hiding. So I figured something had been happening at night. So we'll just keep monitoring this as it goes and hopefully this continues to work. I think it should. Nope. <laughs> Taking the ugly net off today. I'm gonna install an electric fence. So um, it's war. This raccoon has made it very clear that it wants to go to war. So I have installed an electric fence today. <laughs> my backyard looks like a war zone right now. It's funny. Let me turn the camera around. But I put an electric fence around my pond. So I'm hoping to get video of the raccoon touching the electric fence because to me that's gonna be hilarious. I don't want to kill it. And I don't want to, um, I bought a trap, I don't want to catch it because then I have to release it. But I'm hoping by putting the electric fence, if it touches it, maybe it'll learn not to come back to my pond. So let me show you what I've done today. Hold on, let me turn the camera around. So it looks like a war zone back here, but I got my electric fence installed all the way around the pond. I made it deeper. So I actually got the pond a little bit deeper. I took out some of the big rocks. So you see all the rocks are here. I got to relocate them but it took a lot of the rocks out. It turns out that it was pretty deep in the center. So I made it deeper and I added a fence all the way around. So an electric fence all the way around. Right now it's kind of Mickey Mouse um, because it's getting dark. So tomorrow I'll come back out here and I'll rewire it and make it look a little bit better, but it's basically all the way around. So if this doesn't work, I don't know what will, but I'm pretty sure the raccoon should not be able to get in to my pond anymore. Let me see if you can see the wires. Can you see? Yeah, there you go. So you can see the wires. Yep, that's what that's what's happening on over here in the uh, Martena Martena home. <laughs> I'm battling a raccoon. So yeah, you can see it looks like a, a war zone back here right now. If this ends up working, though, I'm going to cut these stakes down a little bit shorter, and I'll just leave the the fence. But I did take off the net because it, the net looks ugly. So yeah, it looks like a war zone. I'm going to have to uh, <clears throat> clean all this up right now. But yeah, got it in. Got the electric fence in. And uh, hopefully I will have video footage to share soon of a raccoon getting shocked because I'm going to find that hilarious. So with that being said, have a good night, guys. And let's all pray that the raccoon comes back tonight and gets shocked. <laughs> Bye. Two hours later.
the electric fence installed and it worked. Got the raccoon once, but it came back after. We're actually gonna redo our whole pond, so I will have an update video for that as soon as we get started next week. The day before they do the new pond, <clears throat> and to clear all the stuff out of the way, here's the before, and there's the after. Just kidding. All the fish are in the little cave over there. So this is only, what? what is it, what is this, about 22 inches deep or something like that, 22, 23? 24 inches deep at the deepest point, which is only that little spot right there. And then the rest of it is like between, I would say, 18 and 15 and just gets more shallow. This is gonna be four and a half feet. And we're gonna have a new waterfall there and then we're gonna add a new waterfall over here, right? And then what about over there? It'll be a double, and then over there it's going to be higher. Uh -huh. And then it's going to cascade, and then this is going to be deeper as well, so we can walk over. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad you listen at least. All right, and then so right now I got to take all the lights out just to make sure that they don't damage them. So you got to pull all the wires out and pull the lights out, and then we got to clear all this stuff out of here. And then the party begins tomorrow. So that's one last look. That's what we have now, our shallow pond that's not meant for koi fish. These guys don't play. What's that? Yeah, yeah it worked. There's all the fish. We're about to get somewhere here. 